so they were hiding out in this disused bunker, using equipment they'd scavenged to listen in on cosmic communications. One February evening, they were scanning Russian frequencies and tapped in to what they thought must be an orbiting capsule. <laughs> So, uh, Rory, I'm just going to give you, um, for the sake of illustrating the scene here, just going to give you a couple lines. So, uh, yeah, if you could just uh, just go ahead with, with one of the uh, Cordia brothers. All right. Uh, you wrote this, presumably? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to, uh, I just thought I wanted to, you know, because we could just, as usual, we could just like go through the story beat by beat. But I thought it'd be cool to just like put the listener in the time and place of uh, Turin in the 60s. Right. The, the Italian brother? Is yeah, that... the, the Italian brothers. Yeah, okay. in, in Italy. Yeah. Sure. So you want me to read the line that you wrote for the Italian brother? Yeah, man. Don't be so weird about it. It's like, the, you know, the, these are pretty complex characters we're trying to depict here. So, you know. Okay. okay. No, just as try long, and, as long just as try you and just put your mindset. In, as long as everyone understands what's young, happening like here. Like a radio enthusiast. You're young. You live in Turin. This is an industrial town. So, um, you know, it's a pretty interesting character, I think. <clears throat> Mamma mia. What's a that? Sure. I mean, the, the delivery of the line itself was pretty good, but I feel like you could just give it a bit more, uh, a bit more heart or something. <laughs> All right, let me try that one again. <clears throat> a Luigi. <laughs> I love that energy. <laughs> well, you went off script, but, <laughs> but I love the energy. The Mushroom Kingdom is in trouble.